Today, I'm gonna to take you on an exciting tour of one of the most talked about and affluent cities in the entire state of Florida, quite possibly the United States, Boca Raton. And by the way, my name is Chris Cusimano. Not only am I a local real estate agent here, I'm practically born and raised in this great town. So there's not a lot of people who have spent as much time here as I have. So let me show you around. Boca Raton is much more than fancy mansions, Rolls Royces, or possibly a retiree's paradise. Basically anyone of any income level from a family to a single person can live here in this great town and they do. And by the way, this is a real estate channel, but no worries, we're not just gonna talk about real estate. We're really gonna dive into the heart, soul, and history of this wonderful town. It's 1925 and some major things are happening all across the world, especially in the United States. The Great Gatsby was published, the very first motel opened in California, and what I feel is the most important is the great city of Boca Raton was officially established. The Mediterranean and Spanish colonial design that you see throughout this city is thanks to world famous architect Addison Meisner. He is so important to the heart and soul of this community that they named schools and where we're standing right now after him. This is the most visited location in East Boca for visitors and residents residents alike. This is Meisner Park. Meisner Park is where you go when you want to grab something to eat, something to drink, maybe do a little bit of shopping. You can catch some live shows or you can grab a pillow and blanket and watch a movie at the iPic. By the way, if you're watching this on your phone or your computer, you can thank the people who used to work in the building behind me. This used to be the IBM headquarters where the very first personal computer and smartphone were developed. Although IBM no longer occupies this building, it's still an innovation hub. It was repurposed as the Boca Raton Innovation Center, also known as Brick, and it's home to Everglades University. Boca Raton has a surprisingly rich Japanese history, so much so that they built an attraction here called the Murakami Japanese Gardens. If you haven't been here before, then you have to check it out. Regardless of your lifestyle and your income level, there are plenty of options here for you to choose from when you move to Boca. From luxury mansions on the water, single family homes, new construction communities just like this one. This is Lotus and across the street is Boca Bridges. Just about every public school is highly rated, including this school behind me. This is Spanish River High School. I didn't go to this school, I went to Olympic Heights, but I turned out okay. The excellent education system doesn't stop at grade school. Boca Raton is also home to Florida Atlantic University. Go Owls! If you're in the boating lifestyle, that where I'm standing right now is where you want to be. Right behind me is Lake Boca. It's the perfect place where you can drop anchor, grab a drink, and have a good time with friends. Right around the corner of Lake Boca is the Boca Inlet. If you are a fisherman, then this is where you wanna go. You're almost guaranteed to have a nice catch if you go fishing here. And where do my golfing buddies play? Well, right behind me at the Boca Raton Resort because it is home to two massive championship golf courses. The Boca Raton Resort is not just for golfing, it is known to bring you luxury at the highest level. If you live in Boca, chances are you know someone who was married here. Now we can't talk about Boca Raton without talking about its gorgeous parks and beaches. They have three public beaches, all equally beautiful. Right across the street is Red Reef Park, which is actually a beach and a park. And right behind me is Gumbo Limbo Environmental Complex, known for its sea turtle sanctuary, its butterfly garden, and its outdoor aquariums. We showed you a lot of places today, but how do you get around? What transportation is a breeze here in Boca? Behind me is the Brightline. It is all the rage here in Boca. It's a brand new high-speed train that not only connects you to Miami, but also to Orlando. And if you happen to be traveling by small plane or jet, well then you can land at Boca Raton's own public airport. We only scratch the surface of all the amazing things that this great city can offer you. If you'd like to buy a home here and call me your neighbor, reach out to me anytime and I'll love to show you around.